Hi, this is Dr. Gary. Welcome to our weekly tune-up today. Wow, this has been quite a week this week. People I talk to have really been through a lot of stuff. And you know what? Sometimes that stuff is good fodder to grow on. And sometimes if we resist it, if we find ourselves being a victim of it, we really don't learn anything and we probably gonna have to go through it once again somewhere else in another situation. You know, as I'm talking to people, one of the biggest topics that comes up is people feel like they've been abandoned or they feel like somebody has left them or a situation has abandoned them or their parents have abandoned them or their spouse has abandoned them or their children have abandoned them. And the reality of that is we really cannot be abandoned. Abandonment is a figment of thought. It's a concept and the way we look at things, like all the stuff I'm talking about, most of it is just about how we want to look at things. Let's talk a little bit about that for just a moment here today, and maybe this can help some of you. When we look at ourselves as being abandoned, first of all, we're considering the fact that we have nothing to offer ourselves. When we look at ourselves as being abandoned by our parents or a loved one or a lover, we feel as though maybe something's wrong with us, and they had a view of us that really they discovered something was wrong with us and they just didn't love us anymore, so they left. Myself, I was abandoned by my dad when I was 12 years old. And for years I thought, wow, how can a father leave his son? There must be something wrong with me. And I don't know a lot of you would probably say, well, there is, is Gary. But the bottom line is, and the truth of the matter is, there really isn't anything wrong with me or anyone else. And that's not why someone leaves someone. Understand that if someone has abandoned you, whether it's in a marriage, whether it's your children have moved on and seems like they've left you in the dust, which is kind of what children are supposed to do, actually, become independent, move on, do well, not be a homing pigeon and come bouncing back home because they can't launch themselves. And if a lover has left you because maybe something's going on with them, it's not our job to take it upon ourselves to believe that every time somebody moves through our life and leaves, it's abandonment. Understand that if you can understand this one concept, that you can never be abandoned, first of all, because you always have you, and you're the constant that lives through your life in all the situations, and all the love affairs, and all the marriages, and all the children bearing and parenting that goes on, you're the constant within yourself. Other people will come and go in your life, even though when we get married, it's supposed to be forever, but the reality of it is, it really isn't sometimes. And understand it's okay because some people grow at different paces than other people. And the last thing we want to do is to be stuck in a relationship with someone who refuses to grow. So there has to be some way to move beyond that. And the best way to move beyond that is to look at ourself as whole and complete. That we have everything within ourselves to pretty much accomplish everything we want to accomplish. Whether it's love, whether it is making money, or career, or parenting. Each one of us have the innate capability inside of ourselves to provide resources for ourselves or acquire those resources, whether it's capabilities, finances, or knowledge, to pretty much do anything we want to do. The thing that stops most of us is our determination are deciding to and are victimization by perceiving ourselves as being less than because somebody else left us. Bottom line is, we're okay. And you have to tell yourself it's okay to be okay. It's okay not to be a victim of perceived abandonment because it really is an abandonment. If anybody abandoned anybody from leaving you, that person abandoned themselves for the potential that they could have in the relationship with you. So today, let's take a look at ourselves as whole and complete. Let's look at ourselves as something that is moving through the world with a capability of pretty much accomplishing anything we put our mind to accomplishing. What we have to do, though, is understand the moment we become victimized by another person because they left us and we believe something is wrong with us and they were right and we are wrong, that's the virus. Let's work on that this week. If you have something in your life or someone in your life or your life has changed in a place to where 
that other person isn't there anymore, whether it's your mother, father, your children, a lover. Look at yourself as whole and complete. Look at yourself as someone now who has, has that, that experience and now can grow beyond that. And what you want to do is look at what you've learned from that. Look at the constant in these relationships that feel like they're abandonments, and it is you. Ask yourself, what behavior are you putting out that creates that either in another person that they leave or you allow that in your life? Or what is there about you that accepts the fact that there's something wrong with you and there isn't something wrong with them? Those are the questions to ask. Not blame yourself every time someone moves through your life and saying, see, I can't hold on to friends. I can't keep a husband or a boyfriend or a wife. That isn't it at all. What it is, is that attitude. Because that attitude can become a self-fulfilling prophecy. Today, look at yourself as whole and complete. You're not abandoned until you abandon yourself. And that's kind of impossible. All you got to do is love yourself first, and then you're capable of loving others fully and completely. Until you can do that, you got some work to do. Until next time, this is Dr. Gary wishing you an extraordinary week and discover that potential within yourself of not being abandoned, but being your own best friend. Until next time, I'm wishing you an extraordinary week. Bye-bye.